Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm going to be doing your reading for October 16th through the 22nd. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. <clears throat> I have pre-shuffled these decks for you, so I'm only going to shuffle them for a minute. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have created a Facebook group where you could win or you could get a uh, free mini live reading if you join one of the live feeds and I pick you. Usually I do about 20 people and I try to do them every night. The link will be below. This is for the sign of cancer for the week of October 16th through the 22nd. The basis of your reading is the Eight of Swords, okay, and the Fool. We are going to use two this week. So it feels like you guys are feeling stuck in a situation that you do not really want to be stuck in, okay? Um, all right. So the base, that's the basis of your reading. It looks like you guys really want to move forward, but it's going to... It will uh, mean that you have to take a risk, all right? You're going to have to jump into something that you just aren't sure of. And you might be a little bit comfortable where you are right now, so you haven't made the move, but you're really contemplating it. When the fool comes out, this says that you must have faith and you, you're just going to have to fly into the unknown. I see that you guys are really, really stuck in a situation that you can free yourself from. There could be a third-party situation. Um, where there's another, there's two people involved. Um, your partner could have another person or you could be interested in another person. It's causing you a lot of stress, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of worry. And you, you may have took, or uh, you may have decided to just retreat. Maybe you don't want to talk to anybody. You're like, you know what, I just need to refocus. Don't talk to me right now. I need to be alone. Um, maybe some, there's been some harsh words, uh, <sighs> there's been some communication perhaps that you are not happy about that affects your commitment um, you want to your partner um, or yourself could be communicating with another person and um, I think a secret has been revealed I think there's some kind of secret that has come out and it's really uh, hindering your commitment okay so this is for people that are committed this portion of it you know I think that there's something that is is coming out has come out or or um, will come out in the near future that is probably going to have effect an effect on your commitment um, we do have Taurus Capricorn Virgo here we do have you right here which is a cancer um, we have Libra Gemini Aquarius <clears throat> We, and then we have Gemini again. Either way, I think that there's been an ex unexpected um, choice in love for either you or your partner. So one of you have feelings, um, deep, deep feelings for another, you know. Um, if you're single, somebody new could be coming in out of the blue. And you, you know, you may be attached to, to somebody and all of a sudden you have this magnetic attraction to somebody else. And you need to free yourself from it and you just don't know how to do it. It will be, it will involve taking a risk, you know, and, and letting go of somebody else, okay, to go towards this unexpected um, magnetic attraction that has just presented themselves to you. And if it's not you, it could be your partner who has received this magnetic attraction to somebody else. All right, so... <laughs> I definitely think there's a third party situation for many of you and if you're single you may have a choice between two people and you're trying to decide which one is going to bring you the most happiness and which one is the most practical 
All right. Um, we do have karma here with the judgment. This is the judgment card, and that's karma. So this card comes out when you're about to have an awakening, a breakthrough of some sort. I do believe that some secret is going to become known, something that's been hidden, all right? And it is going to affect a commitment of some sort. Um, if you are single and you are looking for someone and you get invited to a gathering, make sure you go because you could meet the meet somebody at the gathering. Um, as I said, this is for hundreds and thousands of people, so I, I'm trying to hit everybody, you know, trying to to make this resonate for as many people as I can. We do have the world card here, and that is connected to being stuck in this situation. You are stuck, and the world is also next to the fool. I see that many of you want a change. You want something to change. You want to take a risk. You want to move on. But you're scared. You have this fear of the unknown. What's going to happen next? Um, you're going to really have to master your emotions. You're going to have to put yourself in the driver's seat. You are going to have to take action. But I think that a lot of you, you know that you have to, but you don't want to. So you're deciding to just hide in your shell because it's like it's easier that way to not face it. Okay. Um, but I do see that something is going to come out, some kind of truth. It might come out harshly that is going to force you to face your fear, okay, and take a risk. When the world card comes out, it means that something is ending. It means one lesson has been learned. You've reached a finish line in something in your life, okay? One project is ending, okay? One phase, one project, one one lesson is over and it's time to learn a new one, okay? It's a new chapter. Celebrate your success. You can check that off your bullet list, okay? You've, you've learned that lesson. Now you can move on. All right. Um, I'm going to do the next deck while I'm still talking. I'm just going to shuffle for a moment. Um, I Perhaps somebody is no longer working as a team with you. They may have another um, outlet. Okay, they're just not giving you what you desire and you're about to see that or you have seen it already. And the fact of the matter is, is you have to take action. Okay, this is you, the chariot. And this is you taking action, putting yourself in the driver's seat, mastering your emotions and moving out of your comfort zone. Right here, she's comfortably stuck. She's not really stuck. Her feet aren't bound. Her mouth isn't gagged. She can scream. She can run. She's comfortably stuck. But this right here states that you're not making a move because out of fear, you know, you're trying to just ignore it staying stuck inside your shell but it is right next to mastering your emotions so it's going to take a lot of courage and strength to do that and you are going to have to uh, really work on taking action all right because i see that there's a strong attraction here um and if you don't know who it is yet it's coming in when the lover's card shows up there's a unexplained attraction where you cannot deny it you must go in that direction and this is ignoring and this is going right over ignoring you you've tried decided to hide in your shell you can't ignore it anymore the pain is there okay you feel it all right and you've been trying to ignore it and just you know pretend that this really isn't the case but it's really causing you a lot of despair okay a lot of worry and you're losing sleep because you know you need to do something Okay, the Seven of Cups. This is about choices. All right, hold on. I'm just going to get the rest of the cards. I have a very bad habit of talking without dealing the cards. There's definitely some deceit. Okay, we have some deceit here. So whether you are deceiving or the other person that you are with is deceiving, uh, we have this deceit. There could be lies. There could be cheating, um, sneaking around behind your back, and you know about it, and you're and you're just pretending that this really isn't the case. And if it's and if you know, it could be you or the other person, but somebody is being very sneaky, and it's causing a lot of sadness. We do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, pretty prominently here. So this could be the new person that is um, coming in, or it could be the person that's doing the sneaking around, okay? It could be either one. I do see that you're seeking balance, but you really would like to have some balance, and I think that you have a lot to give, but you're not getting it back, and that's what the problem is. I think that you're giving it at all, but the partner that you're thinking about as I'm giving this reading is not giving back, 
okay? And you've been trying to ignore it and pretend everything's okay. But the fact of the matter is with the Seven of Cups is that there are other choices, okay? Think twice. Think twice. What are you waiting for? It, does this person provide you um, financial stability? Um, are they all set and you won't have to pay for them? Uh, do they provide you a comfortable home and so you're stuck because of that? They're providing you something monetary. They're not providing you the love that you desire. That's what happens when the Seven of Cups come out. So I believe that um, you really need to think twice. Are you looking for love? Are you looking for um, financial stability? Or are you looking for their support financially? You know, um, or are they just, is it just comfortable with them because you know them, okay? It feels like you're just comfortable with them, but you know that they're hurting you. They are hurting you. You are feeling hurt. And when the Fool card comes up, it says you're going to have to have faith. And we have quite a few sevens already. <clears throat> sevens are about faith, okay? So you seriously need to have faith in yourself, okay? You can't, this is the basis of your reading, you can free yourself at any time. And this is telling me that you need to have faith and take a risk and fly, okay? Start fresh, start new. This is a new, fresh start, okay? Where you can um, hopefully get the equal equality in the relationship that's what you're seeking you're seeking equality you're seeking um give and take you know you want to be able to have this equal give and take with a partner and i think you've been pretending that everything's okay and it's not and again we have the nine of swords we have it twice it's two different two different decks but we have it twice this is stating that you are very losing sleep. You're very hurt about this. It's causing a lot of depression. You know what's going on and you're just ignoring it. You are. You're ignoring it. And I'm going to get you one of these. big changes on the horizon whether you choose to um, move this week or not you know move out of your comfort zone or not you know big changes on the horizon when the world card comes up it's a completion you've learned something big a lesson has been learned you've reached a finish line it's time to start something new reflection oh I got chills on that one <laughs> This is a time to reflect on who you are, you know, a time to reflect on what you want to be, who you are, who you were. Um, I'm just grabbing the book here because in the privacy of your, of your own company or of her own company, a young woman is captured in a quiet moment of contemplation. That's what's going on here. All right. Um, the hurried pace of modern life can often dictate that we make quick decisions, which sometimes result in costly mistakes. That's what's been happening. Um, by reviewing past mistakes, you can gain clarity to why something did not work and evaluate whether change may be appropriate. This is what it's about. It's a time to reflect and refocus. You have the hermit here. That says it's time to go in and refocus on your plan, refocus on you, refocus on what you want, and take a risk. Jump into the unknown because this is a fresh start. It's time for you to start over. Talk to you later, Cancer. <laughs>